Welcome back to the channel, Jamaica Breaking News. People who are going to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscription button and drop a comment, drop a comment, tune in each and every day for brand new content, love and respect. Now people, you see the title? We have a very sticky, sticky topic. This one right here is just a reasoning. It's a rumor. A thing when I hear for a while now, months and months have been, might even be years, you know. It's, I've heard it so many times. But publicly, I've never heard anyone speak on it. I mean, I hear nobody at all about it. And being that we're going to be getting a decision shortly from the Court of Appeals, the tribunal that's weighing over Vice Cartel and his co-accused, will they be getting a retrial or will they be getting acquitted? So the question is up in the air any moment now. We have until July 31st. The tribunal is going to let us know what's going on. We have been been waiting since june 18 since june 18 we are wait and guess how the time is almost up on us the last day 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 almost up on us is the eyewitness dead or alive mr cho is he dead or alive the eyewitness the key eyewitness in the vibes cartel and his co-accused sean storm kaira jones Andre St. John's, that case me at all about, that big, big case, the, the longest case in a Jamaican history, still going on to this day, by the way, and we're saying, is he dead or alive? Is he dead or alive? The other day, I see the people, I said, they want proof that Biden is still alive. We kind of need some proof say we actually alive, you know, people. Mr. Cho, you know, we want some proof because rumors have it say he me that dead or gone missing them, can't find him. Like the prosecution can't find him, nobody no hear from him, nobody no know his whereabouts. Some people are saying last like lizard, so them last we and lizard. I don't know. Maybe him died of natural causes. Maybe he went missing. Maybe the man just no want deal with them thing no more. Maybe the man run away. But it's out there. Rumors have been spreading. Say yo, the man dead. The man actually dead, people. So me I said to the people them right here, right now. Have you heard it? Have you heard this rumor for a while now persisting? I may have said, John, no. We are going to find out, you know. We are going to find out. If there is a retrial, we are going to find out. And if them acquit them based on the fact that they didn't have, let's say, for example, the justices, Marvel McDonald's and them explain that one of the reasons why them acquit them, them couldn't find the eyewitnesses and stuff like that. So then, no, we would have to really wonder if him dead or alive. And if him dead, was there foul play? You know, things like that we have to wonder, you know, people. I mean, this case spooky from the get-go. And a lot of things in this case, I don't know if Vibes Car tell them just lucky, lucky, lucky. Like, for example, having, you know, a juror bribing the other jurors. Were they so lucky that a random juror just take it up on himself for half a money to bribe other jurors to cover up the case, put him, put him freedom on the line and go to prison, go face him time just because of what? What would, what would possess somebody to do this? It, it's Vibes Car telling them so lucky, them just get the right juror who will infiltrate all on the line. Them get Cain himself from the book of Cain and Abel. <laughs> I mean, seriously, people. You know, even the situation that occurred in the prison with the other juror who had to recuse herself. Imagine that. She have a son who get arrested, got jail or prison, and he miraculously end up around inmates who know Vibes Cartel them and are willing to put it all upon the line for Vibes Cartel them by threatening him and making him mad and know say I mean first of all all them know say are the, the juror um, son that I know say she a preside over Vibes Cartel case as one of the jurors who are going to give verdict like you really think about it how them know, how him end up in that prison there, how them know him, how them know him mother, it, it, it just not add up, it not add up, it can't add up, it's way too spooky, too many coincident in other one yeah, people, too many coincident. Not to mention there are other people who are supposed to come forward as witness who went missing, some of them dead and ass or something, you know, one funeral home lady where did they actually testify, she, she did um, end up dead and thing. A whole lot of things go on. I don't know, as I said, maybe it's just coincidence, maybe the universe is at work, maybe the almighty or the devil, 
I don't know who's lining up all these things. You remember Vibes Cartel phone where for they in a evidence lockup. We end up on top of locker. We end up a foreign. We end up a make call and send texts and all sorts of same thing. You remember that phone day? I mean, it's so coincidental that someone got access to that phone and make phone calls and took it places and corrupt that phone. By extension, corrupting the evidence that was taken from that phone. That that not spooky, people. That not spooky too, no. I know we find out. Say, guess what? Evidence gone missing again. About um, nine exhibits, eight or nine exhibits gone missing or ten. Something to that effect where them supposed to have about 25 or 26 pieces of evidence and some of them have about 16 to 18. I, I'm, I'm, I'm scratching my head with the evidence we are talking about DVD with the murder. DVD with the murder upon it. I said, well, hold on, them, they had a DVD with the murder? They, they, had, they had footage of the actual murder? On DVD and that DVD miraculously gone. Um, um, the DVD with the voice notes and stuff like that, that gone too. All, all them evidence they just miraculously just gone, misplaced. I don't know. I don't know. Evidence of of foot on and the cell phone walk out of the precinct, make phone call upon it soon, send message upon it soon. The DVD them get up and fly away. Seal way, zeal way, I don't know, like a flying saucer. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's not looking right. It's not sounding right. It's very, very spooky. Time and time again, everything just a line up perfect for the man them. I mean, my God, by all means, just set them free already. The man them keep on winning the lottery over and over. They made it all the way to the Privy Council, got the conviction quashed. And, and 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 I'm just like, well, how comes them not free yet? How comes? I don't even understand why them not free yet at this point. Because them win every every miracle in their book. Everything them win and them still they behind bars. How actually I keep them behind bars? What force? Because, yo, this is just insane. Imagine a Vibes Cartel and them people them actually at work behind the scene. I pull all these strings to get him free. And them just can't get him free. Imagine everything I spoke on was deliberately done. Evidence tampered with. People go missing. Let's say everything at the at them I do it. And them still can't get him out. Imagine if there's actually a retrial and he's not granted bail. Imagine that. If we find out say them plan all of this, do everything and it just nah work. Just some force, some miraculous force, just are some invisible supernatural thing just to keep them behind bars. No matter what them do, no matter what them say, no matter what them think, them have it beaten. Everything line up, but the man them can't come out. Me just a wonder still. Me just a wonder if there's some supernatural force just behind the scenes that say no justice shall prevail or something. I don't know. Some invisible force that hold them behind bars. Either way, people, me are ask you right here, right now. Me want to know if you hear that rumor here before, you know. If you hear say, we dead, you know. The key witness, you know, the vice card telling them co-accused um, child in the case. Me want to know if I me one, I hear people are talking about them things. Because yeah. people tell me. But some of the time, the sources, even though are good sources, you know. Me still I say it's so far-fetched, it's so unbelievable. Man, I say, yo, V, you know, say the witness dead, yo, chow dead, you know, dog. Me, me just find it hard to believe. Me just not believe it. Me not believe it. But people tell me so many times. I mean, I say, they wouldn't be able to keep it under wraps. It would have come out already. So that is why me I tell you, no, I believe it's just a rumor. But me, me just I put it out there. Ask the people them if you never hear it before. Nonetheless, you see me? Um, if him actually dead, it's just um, better for Vice Cartel them, by the way. You see me? If him dead... Yeah, it, it's in favor of Vice Car tell them no retrial for sure. Cause if him dead, I hate that, you see me? Dead man tell no tales, even though they would have the actual transcript and stuff like that, but would it be admissible? Left that alone, people. Left that alone. Are the captain I talk to now? I mean I say big up to everybody we are tuning into the channel. You see me? I say, yeah man, a Jamaica breaking news this still, but you know the badness already. So big up on yourself. Subscribe to the channel. Do the right thing. And go and check out the content them. And head over to DNR. Dancehall news and reviews. For the latest content over there. So big up on yourself. Ah!